Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Ellie. I hope you are very well. Today I wanted to talk about my TBR, the books that I want to read for the Ladies in August Readathon, which is a readathon that is taking place during the second and third week of August officially, but if you want to do it as a month long readathon, it could also be even more fun because then you will have more time to read more books. There are so many possibilities, but I am going to prioritize these books. And in this video, I'm going to talk about my books chosen for the first two proms of the readathon, The Edwardian Ladies and The Edwardian Girls. At the end of this video, there's going to be a list with some Edwardian girls and some Edwardian ladies. For the prom Edwardian ladies, I've chosen Angela Thurkel, Agatha Christie, and D. Stevenson, three authors that were born in the last decade of the 19th century and became young women during the Edwardian period. The first one, Angela Thurkel, she was born in 1890 and I am very happy to return to her books. They are very slow paced and I found August Foley, the fourth in the Barsetshire series. I had to choose it because it takes place during August, during the summer, and it sounds very fun. It's about some couples that are staying at a big country house. And of course there are some misunderstandings between the couples. And also there is this big play that is being staged Hippolytus by Euripides. I've never heard about it. I'm very curious. This is a book set in Britain during the 1930s and the book was published in 1936. So I'm very excited to come back to Angela Thurkel. Then I am definitely going to read an Agatha Christie book. The first one is The Mystery of the Blue Train. This is my favorite from the Harper Collins collection. I love how it looks. Um, I love the color scheme. I even don't know if is it a Poirot mystery or a Miss Marple mystery because it is on my shelves. I want to read it. I would love to hear if you have read it and if you enjoy it. The next book that I am reading by Agatha Christie is Why Didn't They Ask Evans? It's a thriller and there is also an adaptation. So I would love to read the book and then watch the movie. I've not read many standalones. Most of the books that I've read by Agatha Christie are Poirot mysteries or Miss Marple mysteries. But I heard this is a very good one. The next book that I've chosen for the Edwardian Ladies prompt is a book by D. Stevenson, Green Money. It was published in 1939. I am very excited about this book because it sounds cozy and a little bit different from her cozy books. So it says here, romantic, energetic, at times wickedly funny, is the humorous tale of the complications of a young Englishman who is made trustee of the late Mr. Green's large estate and guardian of his quaintly old-fashioned daughter. And I've chosen a fourth Edwardian lady, Noel Streetfield. She was born in 1895 and I have some of her books on my shelves. I'm choosing The Growing Summer. This is on my summer TBR and I got this book because of the beautiful cover. And I think some of you have already read it. I would love to hear how, how did you like it. Here it says, Summer will be different for the Gareth children because they are going to live with her great aunt, Dimfna. And she is very eccentric and lives in a very ramshackle house. So it, it promises to be a, an adventure and I think the children are going to have lots of fun. And then I have Thursday Child. I got it some years ago because of the cover. It looked very autumnal, but it starts in January and it's about a girl that has to live in an orphanage. And here it says, Margaret Thursday was named after the day she was found on the charge steps as a baby. Each year, a bag of gold coins is left for her keep. But when the money suddenly stops, Margaret's guardians are forced to send her away to a terrible orphanage. I love Noelle Streetfield's writing. I think this is going to have a happy end. And I definitely want to read this book from my shelf. And the Edwardian girls are the girls who were born in the first decade of the 20th century. And for the Edwardian girls, I've chosen Elizabeth Cadell and Georgia Heyer. The first one is the Georgia Heyer radio drama collection created by the BBC. It sounds very exciting. There are four novels, Regency Back, Friday's Child, Pharaoh's Daughter, and Envious Casca. 
I've listened to the same format for Jane Austen books and it was wonderful. Uh, the actors were fantastic. So I'm very excited to read more by Georgette Heyer. I think her books are really special when you listen to the audiobooks. And for Elizabeth Cadell, I've chosen Iris in Winter. Here it says, This book is in the happiest tradition of the English social comedy, and those who want to find as much life and laughter as possible between the covers of a novel will enjoy reading it. It takes place during the winter time, and I think even during Christmas. I also love to read books that take place in another season that is not the season that we are in. It really sounds like my cup of tea. So I'm very, very excited to start reading this book. I am very excited about the books that I've chosen for this TBR. I would love to hear about your choices for this readathon and your favorite authors and books. Please write them on the comments. If you want to hear more about the prompts, there is a video that I am going to link in the description box below. Thanks so much for your lovely comments. I'm so glad that you are participating in the readathon. I hope you have lots of fun. I cannot wait to start reading for Ladies in August and celebrate these wonderful female writers. Thanks so much for watching and I will be seeing you very soon with another bookish video. Bye! Some authors born during the last decade of the 19th century are Angela Thurkel, Agatha Christie, D. Stevenson, Dorothy Whipple, Noel Streetfield, Josephine Tay, Enid Blyton, and Ruby Ferguson. Some authors born during the first decade of the 20th century are Molly Clevering, George Hare. Maud Hart Lovelace, Elizabeth Cadell, Barbara Slay, Mary Clive, and Elizabeth Fair.